All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to do a video about getting, we're going to do the new corking around the sides here. We're going to get that out. So go around the back of that, and this is a bit of bad nick. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Someone's asked me kindly to do it while painting their bathroom. So we'll give that a crack for them. The windows are in bad shape, so it's just going to go all along around the bath. And also what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you cleaning the mould off in between the tiles as well, the bar tile. Also what I'm going to do, I've got a couple of little thingies I'm going to try and show you and see if they're any good. So we're going to get all the tools together because there's no point in cutting corners. Trust me, I've cut so many corners as a youngster. I've been running around in circles now, so dizzy. The only person that done me for dizziness was Heather Mills, mate, when she used to get out and lose her stump. But that's what happens if you fight sharks, you know? My name is Brian Joe, so this is going to be a video on how to cook in silicone around the bathtub, stop all the water and damp and all that stuff getting into it. And plus, after a few years and all that, it just looks mucky, it gets rusty and horrible looking. So we're gonna give it fresh, because it's not point giving a fresh coat around the bathroom. It's like wearing Gucci's with some ripped up, well, my trendy's probably wear some ripped up looking paint overalls. Right, so these are the tools we need. We need a, a corking. You're not allowed to use the G word on uh, YouTube, so we're gonna call it a pinger. We need a corking pinger. And one of these little tools, these are nice, a scraper, but they've got that edge on it. So get in and get all the stuff out of it. Good stuff, mate. Right, so we've got a couple of things. We've got this mold called Mold Mildred Glass Guy. So we're going to use that on both tiles. Also, picked up some crappy magazine we found on the street. Proper like Black Borrow style, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we'll put that down on the bath. There's no point putting loads of towels and shaking off because all the crap gets in there just shakes everywhere. Put in there, catch the big bits, chuck them in the bin, and then move the rest of the little shrapnel and all that stuff and leave in the bath. We just get a big bundle of tissue or cloth and get it out, bin it, bin it, and all that. It's easier, simple that way, trust me. So, what we're going to do, we're going to clean down all the tiles first, and then after that, we're going to scrape off all the old corking and stuff like that. So, let's get dirty, baby, come on. So, yeah, I'm ready to see all the old, horrible looking stuff. Get rid of that, bin it. Alright, let's see how good this stuff is. Alright, let's have a, I want a quick close up just to catch how this mold looks. I want to see how good it looks after, okay? It's not like a, it's not like a swimming pool where you stone all that old chlorine and your rivals start dying red like some rust on them. You get me, fam, you know what I'm saying? But instantly, if you show them, it's taken a lot of the mould off the white stuff, so it's good this stuff. Main thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I say ventilation, get a nice bit of ventilation going, that's what you want. I've also got another nice little tool for this, I'll show you. Alright, you want to get yourself one of these. These are what you do, that's how you clean your turkey teeth, your veneers for them. True story, fact, this is why people go to Turkey get these things. Can't get them in this country. So after me, trust me. So the horse with the turkey teeth brush, get right in between the gaps. So we draw them with a lot one of these things, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do, we're trying to clean it up because I want them to all come out shiny and white and bright. I'm gonna show you a little gadget I've got, see what that looks like, how good it is, see if there's any color. Well, that's the salt. Remember when it's 
there's no, this, it's not a scientific thing how to do stuff. I'm just showing you the easiest way, the best way to do it, just keep in mind that you can do it any way you want. It's not science. Anyway, these days science is proven to be, you know, to, you know, do whatever way you feel comfortable. But I would advise, like I said, get this crap off first. What we need is a scraper, we're going to use a scraper to be on this. So we'll be crap behind the taps and stuff. Get that in. So we're trying to get, we get all this corking out here now. So you can see, that's all just shit now. So this is all old corking, so that's all gone. Some of this is easier to get out than others. That's why this tool is so good. Usually you can get a little end of it. And you can pull the thing like a piece of string. I right, like this bit here. Right, this bit's going to come out as well. I go all the way up to the top and turn it down. Right. So, yeah, just keep cracking on, cracking on with it. They might leave a little bit of a gap under there. I'll tell you what we might do, we might put a bit of fun, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I'm going to quickly get this out and we'll see what it looks like after. to skin a cat. Who comes up with who skins a cat? That's some sick saying. It must be Gingus Khan probably. So he's probably still alive better than his cousin Sadiq. So I'm not sure if I'd mad at Right, gonna, we will do we'll leave a gap under there. That'll be fine. Any big gaps, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some expanding and fun in them anyway. A lot of this other stuff. Just keep cracking at it. Sometimes when you're balancing on the rubber, it feels like you're going nowhere. Trust me, you will. You get there. Tipperary room to tell you about. Let's get you off. Let me get you off. Oh my god, I'm absolutely in my head. Right, next time someone tells you, I'm rustic in the bathtub. It's easy job. I tell them uh, you do it. Lord of old yo. Well, my father, who was a professional lawyer, told me my mother was the son of a preacher man. That's why he married him. My father, what are you talking about? I suppose there were different days back then. Crazy days, crazy coins. 
going to be nearly ready to start cooking. So we've got all the gas now. So what we do, is give a dust off, make sure it's dry when we put all the cork on it. You'll feel the bathtub moving up and down a bit. It's fine, don't worry, trust me, it's a bathtub. What you want to do is don't drop one of them on the bathtub, okay? It'll be fine, okay? I'll tell you, it is roasted here in London. It must be like 16 Celsius or something, you know what I mean? Real heat wave out here. Well, I'm going to show you how to open up a corking thing. All right, so what we've got. Got this cork here. I call it mastic because I used to be a fireproof arm, I used to wear a mastic. But it's corking, mastic, stuff that goes around the bath, silicone, whatever. That's what other people call it. So it's gonna have a knob at the top. And it's gonna have this bit up here. So what you do, get your knife. Be careful. Kind of look at all the rings, you can't really get down. You want to leave yourself at least two bits of up here. So just try to get the top off if you can. Be gentle with it, you know. Feel it, you know. There you go. It's come off. It's nice. Nice smooth motion, I tell you. I'm a pro, I'm a real pro. Right, and then what you want is the top bit here like this. But what you want to do, you want to make yourself a diagonal thing as well. A diagonal going down the way. So, but obviously, when you're cutting it, cut it to yourself. So get a bit like that, cut it up. So you can see, it's like a diagonal nozzle to it. That is perfect. And then you get your cork and tip it around your gun. Oh, sorry, cork, we have to call it a pinger because they're not allowed to use the G word in China or something. I thought that's a little hard, I don't know. It's YouTube for that. And then, so you want it pointed in like that. You get that, if you've never used a corking gun before, you've got another thing, you hold it down like that. Then you pull this back like that. This is one old school corking gun. And then you hold the metal thing and then you push it against your chest or belly or whatever you want to call it. So it clicks in place. You give it a few pumps to let the air in. Always have a wet cloth because we want, usually with your clean finger. So you put it down and then you smooth it along. Wet finger. Then you wipe onto your cloth, sponge, whatever you've got. Always have something clean and wet. Get something quite big as well, because things you get a lot of gunk off here. It's not too bad, because the bath's not too big. So it'll be real easy. But get one, do it proper, like I said, no cutting corners. We're gonna done it proper here on my channel. Easy painters, like and subscribe. My name's Brian Draw, so come on, give me a like. Quick pre, pre picture, pre video, whatever you wanna call it. Look mate, I ain't Shakespeare. Only one knows who he is anyway. So you've read a couple of crap books or something that no one read anyway. Why are you more popular than him? All right. Look at that. All right, look at that. Because it's the last time you're going to see that stinky looking thing. Right, this is where we're going to start with the bath. We're going to start up in this corner here. We're going to work our way down to that corner. And then wash all the way down to the bottom. This is the last time you see a bad man like me. Okay, got our cloth ready, nice and dank. And here we go. Here we go. Right, you'll see it coming out. Don't worry about it too much. You don't want to put too much either. Give it enough, you'll see it anyway. You're stopping it because of the taps in the way here. What do you do? Just give it a play around with your finger. That's what you want the wet cloth for. I use the best finger, use that one, I find. Whatever works for you, go for it. Right, 
so because the taps are there, it's a pain in the actual it. This is where the experience comes in. If I hear laughing, it better not be. Dexter, so I can use both hands. It's a bonus, I'm not gonna lie. If I was born in the 17th century, I'd probably be called a witch and burn at a stake for using both hands, you know what I mean? But these days you get away with it. I don't know what's coming to the country, you know? I don't know what's happening. Damn weirdos and freaks take over. Alright, I'm gonna start this corner and we'll work our way down, okay? Beautiful. Right, so we're now coming down this side. Keep everything wet. Do the little segments you think you can handle. So what's that? It's about 30 centimeters, 15 inches roughly. And then just give it a roll on. The finger, wet cloth. Walking can do just nice, like when you see people with a bright ultra white teeth, you know. I mean, it looks I don't know, it's gonna say enchanting, but. Sticks are. Uh, I guess they'd be sparing it, but pretty much you can do. These are some fine arts. So much rubbish from my mouth at the moment because I have a good friend and I'm not sure I'll do a good job for them. That's the type of guy I am. Good people deserve good things, okay? Nearly uh, at the end of my tether. I'm not sure what the tether means, but. 
That's good though. All right there. Let me get on the Guinness Norway. Don't let the mastic dry. You play around a bit until it gets dry. Even when it's on your hands, just make sure you get it off your hands. But it's still wet. You get away with it. All right, there. All right, so we've got a new mastic on. I've been a little dirty bit. It's just an old from the old thing, and I've got something for that. Let's see what we can do. There we go, new in. Thing is with masticing, corking or silicone in, whatever you want to call it. It's all about practice. That's what it is. Just the more you do it, the more you get good at it. So don't think you're going to be some kind of godlike masticer. Don't beat yourself up if it doesn't look perfect. Just do it. I mean, obviously, this is I'm talking about DIY here, not if you're doing a professional job. What about people at home, weekend warriors, who want to give stuff a crack and make their stuff look better? Give it a go. Like I said, don't beat yourself up. Have a practice. I mean, Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? It took a couple of months or something. So, you know, don't get stressed. Enjoy it. Hopefully, you can take some tips off that. I appreciate it. Thanks. My name's Brian Joe. Like, subscribe to all my Indian supporters out there. Bollywood, why haven't you called me yet? I thought you needed a Pan shop Tom Hardy or something. Namaste. Alright there. Thanks.